peace, peace of light and transcendence. I hope that you can, I hope the, the sound quality is, is good. If not, I'll try to increase the sound, but peace, love, light, and transcendence. Welcome to Healing Moon World Adram is the foundation, a place to heal spirit, mind, and body towards the road to self-mastery, self-awareness, and higher states of being and consciousness. So today, um, vlog, or just moon talk, I wanted to speak on the power of not allowing feelings or other people's feelings to dictate how you choose to live and how you choose to move around in your life especially because that also has to deal with their mental state of being and where they are within their life um, development so not allowing people's feelings to dictate how you choose to live, how you choose to be, and how you choose to transcend within your life will definitely save you from a lot of unnecessary lessons that you need to learn. And so you'll, you'll be able to better focus on your transcendence and what you need to do as a spiritual being to grow and to build and be able to focus on even the, the divine spirits or the souls or the, the true entities that you need to focus on um, and not wasting your time learning unnecessary lessons um, with people that you don't need to be around but because of feelings you're choosing or you're allowing that to bully you into staying in any negative situation or staying around anybody just to be around them. So I wanted to speak on family and the family structure because me personally, I've, you know, gone through my, you know, family troubles or traumas and I have navigated through it in a manner to where I am okay no matter where I am and my family knows who I am, what I am and what I represent. So it's like... I don't have to worry about anything when it comes to my family because I've already asserted myself and I've already done what I needed to do to make sure that they know that I'm not somebody that's just here to play a, like a game or a game of life with anybody. You know, I'm I'm here and I know I know self, I know natural law and I know family law and everything that has to do with this reality. So what I wanted to say when it comes to family is I know a lot of people just because they might not they might be naive to this just because you're born into a certain family and you you might not know certain things um, or you're naive to certain things that that doesn't mean that you should allow these people to use um, family ties or blood the fact that you guys are blood related to allow them to just do whatever that they want to do to you manipulate play any type of game of life that they want to play with you just because they're claiming or they're saying that oh we're family we're blood and blood is thicker than water when in reality that is not even the case so I wanted to um, expand on that because I've witnessed, and even in my personal journey, I've witnessed and experienced how the family unit can be used in a toxic manner to either slow down someone's growth or life development just because of, you know, the sake of familyhood or the sake of wanting to be a part of something. For my experience, my um, journey. I experienced because I was I grew up in the Christianity um, faith so me coming out of it and um, you know choosing to assert myself and put up certain boundaries it made me some type of target somehow like a target within my family and I had to navigate through it in a manner to where I would still benefit and they would still benefit in whatever way um, to where it's not negatively impacting me too much or I'm not losing too much um, within you know within the thing it's good to you know put up your boundaries and assert yourself without feeling like you need to cut ties or you need to leave anything because again a lot of things is tied to the family a lot of wealth is tied within the family and you don't want you know their bully like energy or their negative energy to to take something that is naturally or divinely belonging to you through your family just because of their their negative or their um, toxic energy and traits so you just have to be mindful and not allow um, you know just because we're family or just because we're blood to allow them to play any type of emotional mental games any manipulative games 
um, to where sometimes they even push you out of the family just so they can steal your inheritance. Sometimes they're even negative in these situations just so you can leave. And it's like, maybe your test is to stay and be that light within the family so they can be um, put in an uncomfortable... And this is how I want to say it. You should not allow when it comes to the family unit, unit, especially if it's negative or toxic, when, if it doesn't ali align with the natural di divine state of being, you shouldn't allow the family unit to bully you out of the family or make you feel uncomfortable enough to get out of the family. You need to make them feel so uncomfortable that they need to change because at the end of the day, universal law, natural law, if you are uh, you know, following that, will be on your side and there's nothing that they would be able to do to you in this physical reality um, unless they do it in a you know very evil manner but either way whatever is done in the dark will come to light so you don't even have to worry but there's a, definitely a way that you are able to use your divine energy to make them feel so uncomfortable that they are forced to be um, divine in nature and you should not allow their negative energy to force you to be any less or low or leave that situation because at the end of the day these are your family you can love from a distance but don't ever allow it to like you know make it seem like oh you can't you can't be a part of it and you can not take what's rightfully yours so one other thing that I wanted to talk about when it comes to this topic which is not allowing feelings um, or how other people feel to dictate how you're gonna live your life is when it comes to friendships or just you know people around who you choose to surround yourself with a lot of people due to their mental health a lot of people feel entitled to um, like your your energy they feel entitled to your state of being they feel entitled to you either your friendship or just you in general it's just like no that's not how life works I'm sorry we all have a choice and based on your state of being how you are I can choose to be in your life I can choose to be your friend or I can choose not to that doesn't mean that I'm any you know like mean of a person I'm rude I'm this I'm that it just means that our energies do not align and I don't have to be your friend if I don't want to be your friend I don't have to talk to you if I don't want to talk to you based on where you are in your state of being because why would I again allow your feelings of oh feeling like oh I'm, I'm this and that to make me force myself into a situation that I know is not gonna serve me me in any divine manner just because of how you feel it doesn't make sense and I value my transcendence I value my life um, I, I put myself in, in a very high state of being so I, I have to live my life in a certain manner so I personally would would not um, feel bad because you want to be my friend but I don't want to be your friend and you're trying to use manipulative mind mental games to try to guilt trip me or trying to bully me to be your friend I'm sorry that's not how it works that's not how life works in general you have to be very mindful and very careful who you surround yourself with and not allow emotions or feelings to make you you know to dictate how you're going to live your life because you're going to end up learning a lot of lessons and be put in a lot of negative situations that you could have avoided if you were strong enough to say you know what I'm not gonna take it you know what I don't have to talk to you you know what I don't have to be your friend and that is it and that's that um, so yeah definitely when it comes to the family same thing don't allow their feelings don't allow emotions don't allow anything that they created within their mental state of being to make you feel like you need to you know lower yourself and do anything that you know deep inside is not the right thing to do same thing with friends you should not allow anybody to use emotions or feelings to make you feel like oh everything is gonna be okay no it's not okay <laughs> these are lessons and life lessons that I've learned personally by either choosing to allow the feelings to, you know to let me be in the same cycle and the thing is also you're gonna keep repeating the same cycle until you realize no I need to be more assertive and I need to put up my boundaries you know because you're gonna keep being put in a, uh, uh, like a cycle to where it's like you're gonna have you're gonna have to stand up you're gonna have to stand up 
So, um, yeah, I'm just going to sum it up right here. You don't have to allow people's feelings, whether it's friends, family, work, whatever situation you're in, to not allow feelings and emotions to dictate how you are going to react, how you should be, and how you should act in any situation. Because that's what gets and puts a lot of people in a lot of trouble, and it keeps them in a cycle, a, rep a repetitive like a cycle, a never-ending cycle because, you know, they allow feelings and emotion to control their state of being. When the feelings and emotions, it can change like that. You know, it can be flipped like that. And honestly, based on your nutrition and how you live your life, your gut, even your feelings, your emotions that you are, you know, generating might not even be true. So it's like, why would you want to go off of that, you know? So anyways, peace, love, and light. To dive deeper, go to healingmoonworld.com. Um, and yes, I wish all a transcendent day on the road to self-mastery and you're able to accomplish the things that you need to accomplish to move forward to higher states of being and higher consciousness. Peace, love, and light.